and nothing ever will try to stay so much Hi guys, my name is Atom. Welcome back to another video. Today I will show you guys how to set up a nice banner. I have this banner on my channel currently and I'll show you guys how to make one. So you want to open your Photoshop, I have it pre-opened. You want to open a new file and so um here is the whip so two five I can't see it. Two five 60 by 1440 so 2560 so new and make it 2560 yeah by 1140 for 1440 um yeah so those are the prefix you can name it like banner and yeah click on ok and there you go now there will be you just search youtube banner layout and get this i've already got this um so basically just click on the place button and open where you save that image so mine is in my documents uh, scroll down so by default it could be anywhere maybe. Um, I'll quickly whatever we'll just um, save the new one so just click on save image as and um, save it in your thing and there, that is the thing we want. We can go back here. You can click on place. Now we can open the um, document, which should be P. So unnamed is what we have. And here it is. And you can enlarge it by. This is not it. I'll be back in a second. Guys, I got the real one. So you just want to click on place and open it. So my one's just so that, so that, and um, you can drag it around to kind of fit it, and click on until you're done. And here, this will be like the basic size. Um, and we're gonna have to get the rulers out. I've already got mine, and we kind of want to measure this out. So, getting out your um movement tool, whatever you want to click on your ruler. And try and like, do this so basically I'll start off here and start so if there's some music in the background this is not mine I'll be back I uh, just need to change it okay guys we are back sorry for that so just keep on doing the ruler business uh, uh, just about there and now we can make a diagonal one just there and just the uh, oh full screen no not full screen oh shoot did I not set I don't know okay there oh, oh, it's fixed um and then just make one more to just fix it so there we've got the basic size for our YouTube banner now we can just delete that layer now we can delete this image as well so we can make a new layer here and delete this image so delete that layer yes and as you can see that bit's cleared out now what you want to do you want to get out your rectangle tool make sure it's on the black preset and you want to go over like that and there's one rectangle and that's all you need to make on just about the whole side of that and there we can get rid of rectangle too so we can do that well yeah and okay now we can just merge these i think it was switch all e switch all click e to make it one yes so now we've got the thing done um we need to start off with our image completely so you want to click on your text tool and make it whatever I use Edo my one so go all the way up to E and do its text font make it on I made mine 275 and yep yep 
and uh, so now you can type in your name. So mine will be example. Huh. Okay, I'll be just making this um. Mm, so if I could pause, I'll be making this say atom. That is my initial name. And you want to click out. Um, uh, you can use the track tool to kind of move it around, CTRT or down shift and make it bigger just around there. But now we need to center it. So file, you have to click on image, and then select all. Hmm, select all. Select all after you sized everything and you click on image. It's somewhere here, it'll layer. Yeah, align layers to selection of vertical centers and align layers to selection horizontal centers. And yeah, we've got it in the center of our image. Now we need to kind of customize this. So, what I would do, I would add a convert to smart. Now, I would um, affect it. Use the effects tool. Get out the gradient overlay and make this kind of a grey stop. Uh, not super gay, but just enough. And we can start playing around with this. So we can start doing it in. But. CHRZ, CHRZ. Something happened, guys. Um, I need to reset. Yeah. I'll just move this. I'll move this okay. Just about that much. Okay, I like that. And now we can have a stroke. We can make it how much you want. I'll make mine 15 as an ideal size. Yes, I like that. And um, for a good thing, I would add a drop shadow. Not so much, just like just a little drop shadow, just like that. Um, Making that maximum spread just about that. That maximum. Yeah, I like that. Click on OK. As you can see. Uh, uh, let me go over here. The drop shadow, maybe not so much opacity. Yeah, I like 96. Okay, so now we need to pick our image. I've already got one picked. Uh, we can do um, snowy mountains. Snowy. Snowy mountains. So yeah, we can pick out a good image. So images and snowy mountains. I like um about this one. Uh, just wait for it to load. This is um in Australia where I am currently. Now save your image to your documents or wherever. Now go back to here and click on file, place image, and place the image that you just got so mine was no mountains green do so as you can see you can click that that's not her and just drag it below uh, that really does look really good um, mind me but you need to kind of make it look good so you will add a hue and saturation I want to make it kind of like a blue not super like a bluish and kind of bring it down yeah, that's it. And yeah, we are very close to finishing our tutorial. Um, so just click on your done button, uh, and there we've got that. But um, you still have just a little bit more. So you want to click this and change this to one thousand seven hundred. So. 1,700 pixels um, and make it black and I'll zoom out a bit and make it kind of half in half out and just click once or twice okay. not there um, the image itself I think not there the rectangle and then get out Okay, let's just rush around it. Okay, so uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, there. Oh, actually, I forgot everything. And 
that means we kind of have to delete the um oops okay we're gonna make this at least like a little bit too big yeah, uh, uh, and oh still one does it okay big it's not gonna this much and I said the rubber tool the what the I'm kind of becoming a fairy guys ready uh, yo okay guys I need to quickly fix everything I need to do everything again so I'll be back <laughs> guys that took a little bit long than I expected so guys um, what I was meant to do was I was meant to make a new layer and on here now we're gonna grab our paintbrush with our black and now we're gonna go there yes that is exactly remember to make the hardness zero it gives that nice texture to it now you want to switch out this and make the size 14,000 um, 14,000 um, px and click on Center and do the same half of and of not half but uh, yep that makes it look really good and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to make a really good pen and buy.